Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Metal Master Fab Shop. Today, I'm going to be going over my dimple dies and how I do them and how I use them without a press so you can get results like this. Alright, so the first couple things you're going to want to need or get is obviously a piece of metal and this is just a scrap case just kind of for demonstration. So, first thing you're going to want to do is lay out your hole. I'm just going to do a random hole right here using that automatic center punch so we can drill our hole out. Next thing that I like to do is uh, come in here with a quarter inch drill bit because that's going to be your center hole for your hole saw here. So I like to go ahead and drill them out just because like if you're drilling through something with this and you're putting pressure down on it, chances are when you break through you're going to probably get down and then that hole saw is going to really eat into your panel and it can sometimes create a bunch of scratches that are just about impossible to get out of here so uh, I recommend just pre-drilling a quarter inch hole that way you can just use that uh, drill bit in your hole saw for like an alignment pin basically instead of like trying to drill through with that so that's the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to get this quarter inch hole knocked through our sheet metal Alrighty, now that we've got that established and it's a good hole for our hole saw, we're going to be able to just kind of go in there and use that as a guide. As a Alrighty, the next thing I like to do is just kind of come around here and clean up the little mess that's left behind as it does leave a little bit of burring. Coming in here with just a half round file, just kind of go around the radius of this and just kind of clean that thing up just that way, like I said, so it doesn't mar up your dimple dye and I'll just kind of give it a cleaner look afterwards anyway. All right, now that we've got our hole cut in here and everything's looking good, you want to take your dimple die and slide it through. As you can see, it wobbles around just a little bit just because that's not extremely accurate hand holding that. But uh, if you line this thing up, just kind of split the difference. When you go to put this on, it sh you should be able to feel. If it's really, really loose, then you kind of just want to split the difference in it. But now, this is the part I'm going to show you guys is how to get this sunk down without putting this in a press and actually applying pressure. Alrighty, so the tool that we're going to be using today is something you can pick up at Harbor Freight. It's called the Hydraulic Punch Driver Kit, which is basically just a knockout punch. And Swag Off Road actually makes some of these that you can just drill a three quarter hole through your panel and then this will come through and then this ram itself will pull these two dies together and actually knock out a hole. Got our hydraulic cylinder out of here. Next thing I'm going to do is just pop this line in here and get everything connected. All right, once you have this connected, you're going to want to put your lower die onto your cylinder. After that, you put your metal in between there and then turn your upper die around to where it'll go down in there. Make sure that's good and secure down there where you have plenty of thread sticking up. And then lastly, you're gonna wanna get one of these uh, upper, cu the cutters for the knockout set. And you're gonna just use it as a nut and tighten it down. All right, so now that everything is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the valve on the pump here and go ahead and give it a couple pumps and hopefully on the camera you guys can pick up and see how this thing uh, compresses that sheet metal. Alright here you can see that it has in fact compressed but now you can tell there's a little bit of a bow in our sheet metal so you don't want to stop there you want to continue on with your hand pump here until that metal flattens back out. All 
All right, so everything's leveled back out on there. So now the next thing we're gonna do is hit our valve and let the pressure off. Alrighty, so now that the pressure is all released off of this, you can tell that there's a noticeable gap underneath the nut. So we're gonna back that off. We're gonna take our top die off. And then you got your little dimple here. So you got your recess here on the back side, and it looks pretty sweet. Uh, Alrighty, so hopefully this video showed you how you can uh, create a dimple die using that Harbor Freight hydraulic punch kit. Um, I, I think it does a great job. I've used it on 18 gauge, I've used it on eighth inch, and that's pretty much what those dies max out to anyways, eighth inch. I wouldn't probably want to try to do anything any thicker. This stuff is not the cheapest. I'm not going to say like this is a cheap DIY hack, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. And if you're going to be doing a lot of custom fabrication and stuff like that, I would highly recommend picking up something like this. Check out Swag Off Road. Look down at the link in the description. I'll have everything listed that was used in today's video. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.